1849, gold was discovered at Sutter's Mill, which kicked off the California gold rush. Just as the gold was starting to peter out, they discovered silver in the Comstock load here on the eastern slopes of the Davidson Mountain in Virginia City, creating a huge boom for the city. It created vast fortunes, which were circulated from here to Reno all the way out to San Francisco. And the city's population went from 4,000 people in 1862 to 15,000 people by 1863. So a huge increase in fortunes, in population, also advancements in mining technology, including square set timbering and the washout process for extracting silver out of ore. The Comstock Lode was the largest deposit of silver ever struck in America and it attracted all kinds of colorful characters, including unsavory types like gunslinger Andrew Jackson Davis, known as Big Jack or Smiling Jack, and the gunslinger Langsford Peel, known as Farmer Peel, who was probably the inspiration for English Bob in the movie Unforgiven. Hold it. Well, I wouldn't point no pistol at nobody, sir. Well, that's a wise policy, a wise policy. But if you did, I can assure you, if you did, that the sight of royalty would cause you to dismiss all thoughts of bloodshed right. and you would stand, uh, how shall I put it, uh, in awe. Mm. Now, a president. Well, I mean, why not shoot the president? <laughs> now, two outlaw word slingers, John Lee and Stephen Horsford, are battling it out for U.S. House of Representatives District 4. <laughs> this week's cartoon is about what if they settled elections the way they used to settle disputes in the Old West. Chernobyl to create rain clouds. I mean, did those really work then? We have some of these capabilities now? Inconclusive. Even in the 60s, the CIA used this to uh, bring down monsoons during the Vietnam War to wash out the Viet Cong. What do you see when you look up? Let me know in the comment section. And until next week, keep your pencil sharp. You've been talking about the Queen again? On Independence Day? Oh!